So how do you apply? You've been watching YouTube videos, you're thinking about it, but like what are the steps? All right, here it is. Here's the rundown. First off, make sure that you meet the requirements. Here's the requirements. Okay, read through them. Do you meet them? It's important to note that as of August 2019, a bachelor's degree is a requirement for all new applicants. And then the computer specs, you gotta meet the computer specs. And I also have a blog post below from QKids that you need to reference. And um, it will tell you how to screenshot that. You'll need it for um, submitting your application. And then also make sure that you have the reliable internet, the webcam, the headset, and a mouse and an ethernet cord. So next you're gonna to want to visit teacher.qkids dot net slash register. Here's where you'll, you'll set up your account. So you'll put in your email address, you'll create a password, you'll verify that you're not a computer, and then you'll put in my referral code, which is listed below. And it's an O, not a zero, so O-V-Y-S-Z-Z. Okay, you're gonna submit your hiring materials. So what's required? Your resume, your screenshot of your computer specs, which is from the blog post below, your availability, so what classes can you teach, and then send your intro video. So your intro video, I've got some tips for you on this. Um, make sure you have a clean background, as minimal as possible. You don't have to have a background like this yet for hiring, just make sure it's kind of blank, not a lot going on. You want to have it well lit. I don't have a special light. I don't have a selfie light. I just have three lamps around me. Okay. Make sure your face is lit up. Wear something professional because you want to kind of be compared to a brick and mortar teacher. I would not, I know teachers teach in t-shirts. I would not do this for the interview process. You're trying to get selected. There's a lot of applicants. So dress professionally. You want to be very expressive. In your intro video, you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to say where you live, your educational background, and any experience that you have teaching or working with children. And then you're going to tell or read a children's story. Choose something short. You actually don't have to to read an entire book if it doesn't fit in the time because your time frame is one to two minutes on this video so you don't want to go over two minutes okay you want something that's very you can make hand motions too so if the character is putting on a hat or a jacket um, if they're you know talking about eyes or mouth you know or some kind of animal maybe it's about fish when you do a fish face Use your hands, use your face, make sure your tone of voice fluctuates and you're excited, you're enthusiastic. Um, if you feel like awkward, like it's too much, you're probably doing it right. <laughs> so just be as expressive and friendly and warm as possible. And then also I have a link below to the newest Q Kids employee highlight video, which is of a hiring team member. And they talk about what they're looking for in applicant introduction videos. You need to watch this. I never had any of this information when I was applying. So you already are going to have a heads up uh, first what, you know, what I did. Um, so it can take up to five days to hear back once you send in all your stuff. Please let me know if you use my referral code. Email me, qkidscourtney at gmail.com, and I can help you um, answer questions and kind of give you advice throughout the process. And then let me know what other questions you have and any feedback, you know, if you've gone through the process, any type of feedback, I love it. Just email me and make sure you check out teacher.qkids.net slash facts. FAQ because it'll give you even more information about the entire hiring process. So please use my referral code and thank you for watching my videos. I hope you'll subscribe by clicking the ring button. You'll know uh, whenever I put out a new video and I do a lot with teacher tips. So thank you and I hope you apply. Get on it. Don't wait. All right. Thanks again. Happy teaching.